Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to our seventh Tech Bytes this evening. Um, really delighted you could all join us. Thank you for so many of you for signing up and joining us this evening. And uh, just before we start tonight, I wanted to kind of just give you a quick reminder about 100% Optical, which will be uh, in London in May. And if anyone wasn't aware, we moved the dates to the 8th to the 10th of May this year for, for 2021. Um, which obviously the news we've had this week around vaccines, we're ever more hopeful that we will be um, safe in those dates and we'll be able to run a very safe exhibition for you. So we're very excited and looking forward to seeing you there. Um, so yeah, uh, on, on to tonight though, and uh, I'm delighted uh, we've got a great panel to bring you tonight. We like these to be really interactive. So please, um, we want lots of questions. We want to hear from you. We want to turn on your microphone. So if you look at your screen, you can see uh, if you raise your hand, which has got the, the green circle around it, that means we can come and turn uh, your microphone on, we'll come to you and you can ask our panelists directly any questions you might have. Um, or you can type them in. If you type them in, then me or, or Jay Shree can read them out for you to the panel at the end. So we'll do all of that and uh, after the presentation. So as I say, we, we really like to hear from you. So, so uh, please do use that. So on to today and uh, delighted um, to bring you a great panel. Just so you're aware as well, today will be recorded. So if you want to go back and see any of it, you can on our on-demand platform. The website's there. We'll send it to you afterwards as well. Um, you can go back and watch the old webinars and old Tech Bytes as well on there. So as a, we've got lots of great products that have been demonstrated on there as well. So today, um, I'm delighted that we've been joined by uh, Suzanne Oswald from Gossi. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, okay. Good, thank you. And we've got Nick again, a serial Tech Bytes um, presenter. Hi, Nick. Hi, Nathan. And uh, joined by Raki Thakra for the first time from Bausch & Lomb. Hi. Hi. And Hayley Coates from, uh, from Zeiss. Hi. Hi Hayley and uh, Carlos uh, Munoz from uh, from IoT. Hi, hi Carlos. How are you? Hi, good, good, good. And to join uh, me with my co-host Jay Shree, who's been with me on all seven of these now. Hi Jay Shree, how are you? I'm good, thanks Nathan. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. So um, yeah, obviously delighted. Uh, everyone, uh, hopefully we've got some. Uh, great presentations this, uh, this evening and uh, looking forward to, to starting off. So, um, Shri, do you want to uh, talk, talk through our panel this, after, this evening? Yeah, sure. We've got a really fantastic panel today. I'm quite excited with all the different products we've got. And uh, I think we'd better get moving straight away, Nathan, because we've got quite a lot to get through, to be fair. OK, so let's start off. Susie. OK, so Susie Oswald. Susie has a solid core of optics running through her as she has spent six years at Luxottica Retail, followed by a four year stint to Alan, uh, as a sales agent for Alan Mickley International, selling luxury handmade eyewear to the independent optical market, responsible for maintaining and growing the frame portfolio for her given territory. Susie's focus was to gain new business and build fantastic customer relationships. Her responsibilities included staff branding, product training, merchandising, and product launches, and setting up demonstration days and open dates. All this has stood her in great stead for her current role as UK and Ireland sales agent for Gotti, Switzerland. She considers herself blessed to be working with a multi-award winning eyewear brand and a leader in Swiss design, using only the finest materials and showcasing outstanding quality. Over to you, Susie, for your two minutes about yourself and either your app your your book or your life hack fabulous thank you um well firstly thanks very much to yourself nathan and uh, kelsa for inviting me along tonight um and then for everyone else at home is uh, joining in um and as you said i'm susie i've been the agent now for gossi for over seven years and um, i'm a self-employed agent um i love my brand um and it's just a really great eyewear company to work with um i've had a varied career working with Unilever, as you said, Luxottica and Nickley and Stark. So I've got an array of products, but I think certainly Unilever gave us a good uh, grounding for working with some really good brands such as Purple and Vanessa. So I think my uh, ideal of eyewear is far nicer than selling soap powder. Yeah. So uh, yeah, um, 
life hack um for me it's really about the apps i think i think um obviously when we get our new samples and and we see them coming through and we're opening them up and then we're, we're, we're displaying them in our cases i think um more than ever now the, the amount of um clients are using and turning to sort of instagram and facebook etc um, mm. And when you see them posting pictures of their clients and patients on online, wearing a really nice way, um, it just kind of brings it to life and makes it all worthwhile. So for me, it's, it's the apps, the Instagram apps and Facebook, etc. Brilliant. Good stuff. OK, so are you ready for your your, your five minute session? Let me just. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to make you presenter, Susie. And um, so when you're ready to get your screen up, Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm ready. Go. Okay. Okay. So, what do you see? I'm hoping you see a figure, and that figure is 469%. If I could offer you an award-winning brand that's grown by 469% in the last six years and offers a complete range and high-end return investment that rewards your testing time, which I think is more important than ever right now, with your clients, would you be interested? Tonight, I'd like, I'd like you to uh, listen to the presentation I've got for uh, Gossi Eyewear Switzerland. Uh, it's a brief agenda. There's only five minutes to talk about the brand, which isn't a lot. Um, so I want to talk to you um, about the brand breakdown and benefits, uh, the support we can offer, some customer quotes and some of the awards and a brief summary at the end. Um, Sven Gotti designed the brand back in 1993. Uh, he's an optician himself um, and at the time had an optician store in Lucerne in Switzerland. He started off wanting to make a buffalo horn um, product and then ventured out into other materials such as titanium and acetate. Sven's focus and Gotti's focus has always been on in innovation, quality and durability. The company today is still privately owned by Sven himself, who's the lead on design and the CEO and Felix Moreno, who's our head of sales. All models have been designed by Sven for over 25 years and he leads the team. Today, we, uh, we employ over 35 people at our head office in Wadensville in Switzerland, and there's 35 pe people like myself and um, self-employed agents around the world. Most importantly, we supply only to independent opticians and we supply over 40 countries. The brand today is split into three. Um, we started with Gotti Switzerland. Uh, however, two to three years ago, we've now created um, two sub-brands uh, in turn, which are Gotti Perspective and Gotti Dimension, which I'm gonna touch on today. Gotti Switzerland is uh, split into three parts. Um, there's titanium frames, acetate and buffalo horn. All our frames are handmade and take at least three months to make. Acetate, uh, we use Italian Mazzucchelli acetate, which is unique to ourselves which are made in Germany and Austria. Buffalo horn is made from complete block horn and is made by a specialist manufacturer who manufactures only just for ourselves in Germany. It's not laminated layers like most of the other uh, buffalo horns out in the market. Titanium is extremely popular in the UK uh, and around the world. Um, the, the purpose of using titanium is that it's very lightweight, uh, corrosion resistant and it's very skin friendly. We make our frames either from a titanium block sheet or eye wire, and every frame we make takes between 200 and 300 hand steps to make, to make at least one frame. Um, also, in addition to this, we have seven press tools that are made from block titanium, and this technique is very unique in our market. The pressure we use is over 300 tons as well, which gives it its lightweightness and its um, durability. Moving on to perspective and Gotti dimension. These are, both, uh, these are both made internally in our head office in Switzerland and it's won many awards. Um, within this range, there is no glue, no soldering and no screws and it's more than just a rimless frame. As you can see in the two um, models that you can see on the screen, there's a gents model and a ladies model. You see the same frame, but in four, uh, well, there's four looks on the screen, but there's, in some cases there's three to five different looks. You'll see rimless, you'll see loop, you'll see bold, and we also have space and folio. Folio is a new line that we've created as of this year. Um, so all in all within this collection, it's 24 shapes. We have three to five different styles. We have three different sizes. We have three metal options, which are black, silver, and gold in line with kind of a jewelry brand. And we have 12 different color connectors and uh, loops 
list, which you'll see um, on our website. Within this, in turn, we create over 38,000 possibilities for each find, so we really believe there's something in it for everybody. Gotti Dimension is our 3D printed connect, uh, 3D printed range again. It's CAD designed, and we've got an two, two industrial printers actually now in Switzerland, because it's been a very, very popular line for us. And um, it's used with uh, sustainable polyamide nylon powder, which then sets within the printer using laser sintering. Uh, this, the purpose of this um, material is it's extremely lightweight, resilient, and durable. Um, it's made piece by piece, refined, treated, and assembled all by hand. Within this range, we have uh, also a Dim Dimension X, which is customized, customizable, and Dimension Next, which is um, uh, for children and teenagers. We have lots of support, support and display material, which we can do customised posters and windows, and we have lots of uh, uh, little blocks and things that we can sort of hand out when you actually become a stockist. You'll also become a partner on our website as well. I've also asked, um, because I'm coming online tonight, just to talk to everybody, it's not just what I think about um, the brands, obviously I love it and I'm very, very passionate about it, but also in turn what some of my customers say. And these are some quotes. I'm not going to read them one by one because it'll take me more than five minutes. But um, I think you'll see there's some keywords, uh, mainly quality, clean lines, well designed and lightweight. And it's a very good fit and it's a very good partner for their independent store. Um, we've won many awards. Um, the latest one we won was uh, the, uh, the Gents uh, Frame of the Year Award at the first Love Eyewear Awards at 100% Optical in London at the beginning of the year, which was brilliant. And um, here's a picture of me and my colleague and uh, the frame itself, that one, which is a Gotti perspective range. Um, as you can see, we've had lots of nominations and we've won lots of awards. Um, in summary, it's a niche eyewear brand, only sold only to independent opticians. We're a real leader in innovation. And as you can see, we've won many awards and been re recognized by our peers. I believe it's a complete offering and there's something that's for everybody, but I think most importantly, it's a really high dispense value and gives really good profit for your independent store. At the very start of the um, presentation, I asked, would you be interested in learning more about an award-winning brand that's grown over 469% in the last six years, which for an independent niche brand, when there's only me covering it for the whole of the country and Ireland, I think is quite, quite a good result. Um, and I'm now asking, are you interested? Mm. If you are, Brilliant. here are my details, and um, hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Brilliant, thanks, Susie. That was um, just you. a little bit. I remember that's that's that was great for you. So thank you very much. Amazing, Susie. Well done. Um, <clears throat> right. I think next we're on to to Nick, aren't we? Yeah. Hi, we Nick. are on to Nick. Yes. Yes. Hi, Nick. Hello. Hello. So for regular attendees, Nick needs no introduction as this is his third time on Tech Bytes. Am I right? Yeah, pretty good. For anybody tech else, bite. yeah, if anybody else uh, that doesn't know Nick, here we go. So Nick Atkins, FBDO on CL, FBCLA, uh, is, is an optician who's gained business acumen and expertise in sales and marketing during 40 years in the optical industry. This includes 10 years at Bosch and Lom, where he rose to marketing director and the general manager of Advanced Vision Care and the independent laser eye, eye surgery clinic. Prior to joining Positive Impact with Maxine Green, Nick has established several companies uh, involved in various aspects of optics. He's run his own consultancy business, specializing in providing marketing and professional services consultancy to the ophthalmic industries for 12 years until 2012, 2015, I beg your pardon. He's a past member of the CIVA Vision faculty, uh, inputting into, the, into its academy for eye care excellence and a visiting tutor at the Johnson Johnson Vision Care Institute. Nick is a past president of BCLA and is a former director of the board and contact lens examiner for the Association of British Dispensing Opticians. Nick is back to introduce a novel electronic eyelid cleaning service called New Lids. Off you go, Nick. So you've got to do your two minutes and you're, 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 up, you're up for your I, life hacks. Yes, well, um, I've done the life hacks for a while. Um, obviously, I've already done two and, uh, and I've also listened to other people's and some of them are very profound. So I wanted to take a slightly different. This is this is probably um, the best life hack. If you've been doing lots of these webinars, 
I mean, some of these webinars now are, you know, lecture after lecture, and you sat there all day. Um, some of you will know that uh, uh, this backdrop they may have seen before, I actually work out of a, a log cabin at the bottom of my garden. So mm -hmm. instead of seeing a sauna tonight, you're seeing this, is, I'm in the office. Um, but you, I can be sat down there for hours, maybe working, doing, um, doing webinars. And so I think this is about the best life hack there is out there, really, as far as... Oh, that's uh, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you don't have to get up and get your refreshments. You can sit there. In fact, the Shiwi would even make the, the, the whole thing complete, probably. So right. there's my slightly less serious life hack for you yeah, today. Yeah, practical. Definitely practical. Very, very practical. Yeah. Very good choice of beer as well. I drank those two earlier. Oh, okay. Uh, You've, okay. I didn't want to um, end up spilling it all over myself, so it was a sacrifice very I was good. prepared to make. Well, we, we okay. always get something unique from you, so that's great. Yes, one, one, to, one to note and write down. Right. Are you ready with your five minutes? I'm ready for, for, for my five minutes. So what does the clock say? Okay, I can see what the clock says. So, yes, uh, I'd like to introduce everyone to New Leads. Um, New Leads is an electronic eyelid cleaning device. Um, this is the box that it comes in um, for, for the patient. And this is, in fact, the device. Now, the, the, the interesting thing I'm going to do is try and demonstrate this for you this evening by cleaning my own eyelids. So um, we'll give it a go. But most of us know that the majority of um, the most common etiology of um, meibomian gland dysfunction is um, or of dry eye, sorry, is meibomian gland dysfunction. And in fact, about 86 percent uh, studies have shown about 86 percent of dry eye is related to my bovium glands um, and is, tends to be evaporative. So one of the cornerstones to treating my bovium gland dysfunction is to actually clean the eyelids. And there are various products out there. We have our own, for example, I'm gonna be using this tonight. Um, we have several lid wipes and uh, this is our Demex Foma, which um, uses an active ingredient T40 from, derived from tea tree oil. And so it's not just a lid cleanser, it's also an anti-inflammatory and is effective against Demodex. So I'm going to use this this evening as the actual cleaner, and then I'm going to introduce you to, to this. As you can see, it looks very similar to an electric toothbrush. And so this is the device. And the device whoops, comes with um, disposable tips that you actually do the cleaning. I'm going to try and show you these. You can probably just make that out on my camera now. Hopefully I'm large enough for you all. These are silicon tips and they have a small metal sp um, rod in them and you just literally pop it into the, the head of the device there and a magnetic, a magnet, it's magnetic and it uh, makes the head stick. And then you switch the device on, just press here and you'll get a couple of flashes to know that the device is charged. It is actually charged from the bottom um, it's a rechargeable device and uh, you can either use a USB or a regular plug to charge it. So once that is done, the device I'll just show you initially will, you press the button and the device effectively um, rotates the head for a cycle of 15 seconds. And it will stop in a second. It also has a pressure gauge, so if you do press too hard, the um, I'll switch that off a second. If you press too hard, it will automatically cut out. So this device is designed you, it, for both practice use and for use by the patient, and that's probably the key thing. I think one of the challenges for patients is complying with the advice you give them, using the product for long enough, and using um, and doing it regularly enough. And what we hope with this device is it encourages patients to, um, certainly if they've invested in one of these devices, they clearly have a problem, they're clearly serious about uh, resolving that problem. And it should encourage them to, one, have a more effective clean of the lids and do it more regularly. So I've got my head loaded, I'll just leave that there a second. Now, the key thing that you do with, um, with this device, and I'll just move in slightly, I've done this in a mirror on myself before, the, the thing you don't do is put the um, solution you're going to use on the device. 
you actually just put that on the lid. So I've got our Demex Foma here, and I'm just going to apply some, I say some, quite a lot, to my eyelids here. And normally in the past, I've done this digitally to, to um, massage the lids and, and clean the eyelids on the, on the edge. But um, this time I'm going to use the device, and it's, it's fairly straightforward and very simple to use. I'll start the device now. And I'll simply run it along the eyelids like so. So this is what we call the indirect way of doing it, whereby the eyelids are closed and I'm rubbing along the, the eyelids. So that's 15 seconds and now it's going to repeat for another 15 seconds. And the recommended time is 30 seconds per eye. So once you've done two cycles, like so we're all done so i'll just wipe off the excess and we can repeat on the the other eyelid if we so choose the other way of doing this is a direct method which generally now um that when the device was introduced let me put my glasses on when the device was introduced in the us this has been on sale in the us and i'll share some clinical data with you in a second but this was um this has been um tried and tested, should we say, some clinical studies, multi-center have been done in the, in the US. The key way it works is to remove the desiccated bacteria and skin um, from the desiccated skin and bacteria from the eyelid margin. Um, it also decaps and opens up the meibomian gland orifices and the massaging of the lid margin mechanically breaking up stagnant meibom in the glands and improving circulation. So um, that's the, the mode of action, if you like, of the device. The, um, the study that was done actually looked at 37 patients, 74 eyes, and, and measured a, a number of things. There was five sites that did it, and they were looking at um, OSDI scores and tear osmolarity, tear breakup time, meibomian gland scores, and also looking at the, the amount of production of meibom pre and post um, using the device. So um, what did the patients feel about this? Well, generally what, we, what was found is there was some clinically significant improvements in OSDI. The OSDI score dropped from initially out of 154 amongst the group of patients to around 27. So about a 50% reduction in OSDI score. And to be entered in the study, patients had to have an uh, osmolarity of over 308. For those of you who understand osmolarity, that's then considered high, hyperosmolar and you're into dry eye. The average was around 315 before the start of the study, and it dropped below the, the 308 figure to 306 post a month using, um, using the device. The other important thing, I think, with these things is what do patients think about it? And 91% uh, of patients strongly agreed or agreed that the device was very convenient and easy to use, and they noted that it had very little discomfort. In fact, when you first use it, it has kind of tickly feeling on the eyelids. So um, it's, it's not uncomfortable at all. I'm, I've never had Blefex done, but I'm advised that Blefex is quite an unpleasant um, sort of level of ticklishness or, or discomfort. And um, this certainly isn't. And what you can see from the way I did it, it doesn't create a load of scurf and a load of uh, aerosol debris in the air. So if you use this in practice on the patient and then teach them how to use it for themselves um, and then encourage them to buy one of these devices. Now, how are we going to um, sell these? The most, uh, I was on the of Tech Bytes um, back, the first Tech Bytes that I did, in fact, we launched a website which sells our eye drops to direct to consumers, but with a rebate to the practice that recommends the consumer goes to the website. And so we're going to use that website to encourage practitioners to recommend patients to go and buy online. And when they buy online, they'll get a rebate on the sale. Um, obviously, these devices are, we're looking to launch in January and it will be circa £350 to the patient for one of these devices, including VAT. Um, so probably quite an expensive device for practitioners to buy and sell. So we're going to take the model and change it and get your patients to buy it and then share in the profit that is made um, back with the practitioner post-purchase. Um, 
So I think that's basically it. Um, I've probably done my time anyway. If anyone has any questions, then I'm happy to take some at the end or obviously contact us through the various opportunities to contact us after the event. Oh, a bit over, I think, Nathan. A little bit. <laughs> we'll, we'll allow him that since he's been on before. It's OK. But thanks, Nick, for that. Quite innovative and live demo, as always, is always an interesting uh, sort of situation, but well done. Okay. Brilliant. So uh, next up is um, Raki. Hiya. Hi, oh. Raki. Hey, Raki. Well done. Okay, here we go. So let's do your intro. Raki Tucker joined Bausch & Lomb as Professional Affairs Associate in 2019. She qualified as an optometrist in 2009 and has gained much hands-on experience and knowledge over this time. She has worked in numerous practices as a locum optometrist, which includes high street chains and independent opticians. She has enjoyed a role as a secondary supervisor to pre-reg optometrists whilst in practice, where she's been able to encourage and empower students to achieve. Being in the optical industry over the last 10 years has enabled Raki to further expand her knowledge and skill set in many areas. It has given her the opportunity to observe, learn, implement and adapt with the different with, with the way different practices work and through this has been able to encounter a diverse range of patients and pathology. Rocky has a passion for contact lenses and providing professional education that has patients that have patients at the heart of your contact lens service. And today she'll be showcasing BioTrue bio one day for astigmatism. Over to you, Rocky. Thanks. Can I just share my screen first, if that's okay? Then I can. Yeah, sure. I've, I've right. pressed the button just there. So. And just let me know when you can see my screen. Yeah. That's good. Perfect. Yeah, you're good to go. Perfect. Yes. Okay, so I'll just do my two minute <laughs> introduction first. So. Okay. So as she mentioned, my name is Raki and I'm part of the professional affairs team at Bausch & Lomb. So just a little bit about me, I've been in practice as an optometrist for the last 10 years and joined Bausch & Lomb just over a year ago. And as Jayshree mentioned, I've always had an interest in contact lenses. I wanted to go more in depth into it. And I've always wanted to work for a patient centric company like Bausch & Lomb. Uh, my life hack. So something that's been really difficult for me during lockdown especially when I've been working for home a bit more, is to go out and do some form of exercise. And something that I like doing, I really like doing in my spare time is listening to financial podcasts. So what I've done is combined them both. And I only listen to my podcasts when I'm outside exercising, which has sort of motivated me to get out um, outdoors to walk more. So if I didn't do that exercise that day, I'd miss out on listening to my podcast. So that's my life hack. I like it. I like that. That's good. Okay, cool. Okay. So I'm, I'm now going to start my yeah. presentation. Okay. That's it. Off you go. So today I'll be talking to you about BioShu One Day, the lens material, which is available in the full family. It's a next generation hydrogel lens. Um, it's got 78% water content. And you'll see later on, because of the way it's made its technology, it's able to retain most of the 78% of water for a full 16 hours. It also has a UV blocker and both the spherical and the toric design have spherical aberration controlled optics, which I'll go into a little bit later. I'll be focusing on BioTrue One Day for Astigmatism. It's the only daily disposable lens with a 275 seal. It also has around the clock axes with sills up to a 175 in the Plano to the minus six range. And as you can see there, the parameter availability has increased significantly this year. So all of you will be able to offer this to a much wider range of your patients. The toric lens has a peri ballast design. So you've got two thicker sections at the bottom of the contact lens to help minimize that lens rotation. And as those thicker sections are in the periphery, the optic zone is also prism free. So as I mentioned earlier, the lens also has spherical aberration controlled optics. So around 90% of the population have inherent positive spherical aberration, which is a lot more noticeable at nighttime as the pupil enlarges. And we know this is because the rays of light entering the edge of the pupil are refracted more in comparison to the ones entering the center. So that results in all those rays of light failing to converge to the same point. Spherical aberration can also be induced by the contact lens itself. And this amount will vary depending on the lens power. 
So biotry one day for astigmatism has the spherical aberration controlled optics, which reduces the spherical aberration. And each 0.25 lens is corrected in both the meridians, bringing that overall amount of spherical aberration to nearly zero. So how does this help our patients? So it can, for example, reduce halos and glare, which are more noticeable during nighttime driving. The lens also has an orientation mark at six o'clock, and it also has an axis indicator, which shows the cylinder axis, so it will vary with the prescription. And this can be a very useful verification tool for us as practitioners, especially helpful when we've got those patients who comes in and they're not sure if they're wearing the lens in the right eye. Um, looking at the material, BioTrue starts with 78% of water, so it's got the most moisture in comparison to other main hydrogel dailies. It's also able to retain most of the 78% of water for a full 16 hours, so it ends the day with the most moisture as well. But you can see here that other hydrogels also do a good job of holding their water content as well. But what about the actual interaction of the contact lens with the surface of the patient's tear film? Um, how do these other lenses actually compare there? So we understand that the complexity of the tear film and how its protective capabilities, its lubrication and how it maintains that corneal integrity via its metabolism are all vital to the ocular health. And we all know this all needs to continue even when a contact lens is placed on eye. So we know that a contact lens will split that tear film into two, which results in the pre-lens tear film becoming lesser in volume, meaning that lipid layer will thin as well. And that can lead to a quicker rate of evaporation for the tear film. So the secret to a comfortable lens is that we need that tear film to remain stable. And having a lens that can retain that maximum amount of moisture throughout the day will help preserve that stability. So BioTrue does this via its surface active technology. Now, most lenses have wetting agents added to them to help make them more wettable. And BioTrue utilizes PVP as that. But to maintain such a high water content, you need more than a wetting agent alone. So Piloxima 407 um, is a surface agent or a surfactant used in BioTrue. And during the polymerization process, the surfactant actually clings to that PVP and it finds its way to the surface of the lens, locking that PVP at the core. That creates an internal dehydration barrier for the lens, so keeping that moisture in. We also did a non-invasive tear breakup time, which was measured after 10 hours of lens wear. And that can tell us a lot about the tear film stability and the contact lens tolerance. So patients are less likely to have any issues if they have a breakup time between 17 to 23 seconds. So BioTrue, you can see over here, has almost 19 seconds sitting well within that desired normal range. So it has a more stable tear film, which lasts a lot longer than other hydrogel lenses. Finally, if we also look at the breathability of the lens. Now with hydrogels, the only mean of oxygen transport within that material is through the water molecules. So you can say that the higher the water content, the higher the oxygen. So BioTrue has a DK over T of 42, which more than exceeds the recommended open eye oxygen requirement for daily wear. And you, if you just look on the right over there, you can see that even in a large sample of patients, after two weeks of wear with BioTrue, there were no corneal changes for the majority of patients. And this was done after 10 hours of wear. And that brings me to the end, uh, just with a summary of the lens parameters. Um, thank you so much for listening. Wow, literally. Uh, the, the alarm went off bang on your the end Is there. Is it five well, minutes oh, on the dock? <laughs> A was. true professional. You practiced well that. <laughs> Thing. Good stuff. Thank you. Thanks, Rocky. That's brilliant. No worries. Okay. Right. So next time we've got Haley. So right, Haley, bear with me a bit. Are you there, Hayley? Yep, hello. Let me share my webcam. Yeah. There we go. Right, Hayley, you, you, you've got you've got to you've got to keep up keep that up now. Five five minutes on the dock. Oh, Look at that. Don't know that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So Hayley, Hayley Coates is a clinical application specialist in imaging for Zeiss. Hayley has been working in ophthalmology since 2007, starting as an ophthalmic technician before progressing onto a senior role managing the ophthalmic imaging service at West Suffolk Foundation Trust. 
Training and development were always a key aspect of this, which inspired her to create the East of England Ophthalmic Imaging Forum. A new role at Zeiss, which she started in February 2020, da, da, da. okay, <laughs> sees her providing specialist clinical application support to, to customers. Today, she will be showcasing the Claris 500, the next generation funding imaging system. Over to you, Hayley. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us this evening. Thanks for inviting me on. So I'll just do my quick two minutes about myself. So yeah. my name's Hayley Coates. I'm a clinical app specialist for Carl Zeiss. Um, as Jay Street said, I started my career in ophthalmology in 2007 at Southampton Eye Unit. I actually started my role there because I had a relative who had a fluorazine angiogram and I accompanied him and then I went back for work experience and then I then applied for a job there. I then progressed on to the West Suffolk NHS Foundation Trust in Bury, and I worked there for the last nine years. And then in February this year, I joined the team at Zeiss and I'm really enjoying working with Zeiss. They're a great company and it's nice to be at the forefront of innovation. A little bit about me. I live in the New Forest with my husband. He works for Guide Dogs and my two boys. I'm an avid runner and we've just bought a Sprocker Spaniel puppy who I'm going to run with in the forest. Brilliant. Okay, and then and my app. Yeah. So my app is Be My Eyes, and this is a fantastic app. It is for visually impaired people. So there's a network of volunteers that sign up to the app. And basically, if you're visually impaired, you can sign up and you might be out somewhere, for instance, in Tesco, and you might want to know the ingredients of Heinz tomato soup. And you can pop onto the app and it will connect you with a volunteer who can read it out for you. And it's really fantastic because it's a worldwide app. So even if you're in Tesco at 10 o'clock at night, there'll always be someone available to help you. So if you have anybody that's visually impaired, a friend, a relative, anyone you know, do recommend it to them or volunteer on the app. It is fantastic. I've signed up already for that, Hayley. Yeah, I'm, I'm I have. Fan. It's yeah, really it's good. Fun. Yeah, it is good. Absolutely. OK, you, do you want to see if your, your screen share is OK? Can you see my right. screen? We yeah, can indeed. Good. Right. Your five minutes starts whenever you're ready, Hayley. OK, hang on a second. I've got a timer next to me just to make sure I keep within the time limit. Oh, wow. OK. So today I'm going to show you our Claris 500. To give you a little bit of background about Zeiss, Zeiss created the first commercially available funders camera in 1926. This had a field of view of just 20 degrees. Over the years, things have changed. We've now gone to digital and we now have our Claris 500 and 700 devices and these can image up to 267 degrees across the retina. So the Claris 500 is a high resolution, true color, ultra wide fundus camera. So what I mean by true color is the color you would see if you were examining the patient on a slit lamp with a Volk lens or with an ophthalmoscope is the color of the images. So this is really useful in particular conditions. Now, there is a common misconception that the Claris is difficult to use. It's not. It's very easy to use. It's got automatic focus and you don't get any artifacts, so there's no lids or lashes. It has various different modalities. So you've got stereo imaging. You've also got autofluorescence. You've got green and blue. And you have the option of doing external eye imaging as well. So one single image of 133 degrees covers all seven standard fields. Two images gives you 200 degrees. Now it is a no image, no touch image acquisition. So that basically means that it's a traditional chin rest. Patients put their chin on the chin rest like they would do normally with a sit lamp. And it's nice and easy to take the picture. You don't have to manipulate the patient's head or move them around to get the images. And again, it is very, very quick and easy to capture images. So how does it work? It uses something called broadline spectrum imaging. This uses a red, green and blue LED. And what this does, it scans across the retina and it uses sequential illumination. So by using this, what happens is you don't get your artifacts, so you don't get any lids or lashes, but you also get a really natural looking funder. So that's how you get your true color image. Now, these are some images taken from our Claris. So you can see these are nice and high resolution. So these are zoomed in. You can see your macula and your disc really, really clearly. So they are very, very high resolution, up to seven microns. And you also retain all the details right out into the periphery. This is a color 200 degree image. So sometimes subtle pathology occurs in the periphery. So the further afield you can see, the better. So you can see from this image, not only can you see your Mac and your disc and this very large hemorrhage here, but you've also got right out to the periphery. So all those additional details 
So it's a fantastic camera for not only diagnosing a patient and actually seeing quite far out into periphery, but also documenting your patient's condition. Now these are 200 by 200 images. So as you can see, again, they're nice and clear. They're a lovely color and you can see the details right in the macula and the disc, but right out to the periphery as well. Now with the Claris, because of the way it takes the images, you can actually separate out the color channels. So with the red channel, you can actually see the choroid in more detail. So things like nevi, things that are a bit more suspicious, like a melanoma, they'll be able to see these a bit clearer on this channel. With the green channel, this highlights the vasculature in a bit more detail. So you get that contrast of the blood vessels. So for things like your diabetic patients, your vein occlusions, and any patients with any hemorrhages, you'll be able to see them clearly with the green channel. With the blue channel, you can actually see the anterior retinal layers. So this allows you to see the retinal nerve fiber layers. So for your patients with glaucoma, but also if you've got a patient with an epiretinal membrane, it will pick it up clearer on the blue channel. So just from one standard 133 image, you then have all this usable information from separating out these color channels. Now with the Claris, you have autofluorescence imaging. So you've got your blue and your green. You can see here on the left, we've got our true color image, and then you've got your blue and your green. So what autofluorescence does is it looks at the lipofuscin within the retina, and you can actually see the health of your retinal pigment epithelial. So from here, you can see with your blue, it's really good for your optic nerve. So if you've got optic dystresin, this is the best one to use. And your green's really good for your macula. So for conditions like AMD, fibrosis, geographic atrophy, this is really useful in seeing the health of the back of the eye. Now at Zeiss, we are here to support you. So do check out our website. We have got lots of patient leaflets and marketing materials on there, which are all free. There are user guides for all our different diagnostic devices. There is free e-learning as well, so do have a look. This is great for optometrists, but also if you've got optical assistance as well, this is fantastic and it's a free resource. There's lots of clinical cases and clinical documents and all our cleaning guidelines are on there, so do have a look. There are some links as well to some webinars that we have recorded over the last couple of months, so again, they're very useful. So do have a look. The websites are just here, so you've got our imaging business builder and you've also got our med support page as well. Now. If you want to contact us, these are my details here. So do, if you're interested in any of the products or you want to see the Claris or you have a question, then please drop me an email on this email address here. Wow. I think, I think <laughs> that was equally, um, equally good. Bang on time. Thank there you, you go. <laughs> It's Love hard it. to do it in five minutes. Five minutes is such a short amount of time to get so much yeah, in. Yeah, no, no, but you did it. You did it there. Well done. There you go. Bang on time. Just had the little tingle there, Nathan. Very good. Right. Brilliant. Pressure's so, on, Carlos. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Hi, Carlos. Um, hi. There How we go. Are you? Okay. Can you hear us okay, okay, Carlos? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I'm going to do my introduction first. Is that okay? Perfect. Yeah, here we go. So Carlos Munoz holds a, a Bachelor of Business Administration degree and Management degree from the University of Las Palmas, the Gran Canaria, and a Master's degree in International Business linked to participation in the foreign network of the Secretary of State for Trade of the Spanish government. Brilliant. He has years of experience working at I IoT for the markets of Latin America, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe, which has given him an overall vision of the international optical sector. Carlos is sales manager for Europe at IoT and will be showcasing a new product launch. Tell us more, Carlos. Your two minutes about yourself, and then either your book, your life hack, or your app, please. Thank you, Jay, and good evening, everyone. As you just said, I have been collaborating with IoT uh, for several years in different markets. And I would like to spend uh, one of these two minutes to introduce the company that I work for, uh, which is IoT. So for those that don't know about us, we are an independent company that supply technology. And we are currently operating in 63 countries and collaborating with more than 400 labs uh, worldwide. Some of them located in the UK. Uh, we offer uh, the technology and the services that the labs need to produce the best possible lenses in, in the industry. 
Uh, nowadays, our uh, core business is lens uh, design development. Uh, one of our goals is to provide the latest technology, the latest free for technology, okay. uh, to have all the, the tools to compete uh, with their private label. Uh, and in addition uh, to that, uh, we are a company that truly believes in, in the power of the clinical research. And all the technologies that we release uh, have to be validated through an exhaustive and detailed uh, wearer trials with real users. Uh, for example, last year, uh, more than uh, 700 people uh, were participating in 22 studies, many of them to validate the technology that we are presenting today. Uh, well, my book, um, so the book that I would like to suggest is Sapiens, written by Yuval uh, uh, Noah Harari. Uh, this is a book uh, that I found very fresh and dynamic version of the history and evolution of the human beings, uh, how we have been adapted to all the circumstances uh, along the history uh, from, from my point of view. We are now in a moment in, of changing in transformation, and we are also transformation in our industry, the optical industry. So it's going to be very funny to see the, the evolution and changes in the upcoming years. Brilliant. Okay, sounds good. Right, so let's get you moving. That's a great book, I agree. Uh, I'll just, you should have a presentation uh, control now. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm ready to start. Okay, so the technology that uh, we are going to present uh, today is the Digital Ray Pass A2. Uh, I would like to start with the concept of lens personalization and oblique aberration as an introduction for the audience. As you uh, know, uh, lens personalization and oblique aberration are two concepts uh, extremely related. When you are uh, looking through the center of a lens in a perpendicular way, uh, the light is focusing on the retina and the user is perceiving his prescription in a proper way. But uh, what happens when we are uh, looking at uh, oblique and the light is not focusing on the retina and the star appears the negative effect of the oblique aberration on, on lenses. Due to that, uh, we can have a central sharp vision, but when we are moving to the periphery and to the edge of the lenses, we start feeling uh, this distortion, which is the obligatory. Until now, uh, many suppliers in this industry, uh, ourselves as well, uh, we have been offering digital ray path, which is a free for personalization technology to improve the vision of our patient, in which we were uh, creating a binocular system eye lens, and we were uh, simulating a ray tracing of the space in order to to correct, to modify the back surface on, on the lens to prescribe the power that the wearer need to see clearly the objects in, in the space. But uh, thanks to that, we can provide a wider range of clear vision uh, in all gaze direction, but we still have some extreme gaze directions in we can see the, the negative effect of the oblique aberration because oblique aberration can be canceled completely. And this is mainly because of the limitation of the geometry and the way that we produce lenses nowadays with the current technology. So to overcome these limits, uh, we are launching these days uh, a new technology to go a step further in lens personalization. And it's a technology called Digital Ray Path 2. And, and the aim is to push in the limits of geometry uh, in lens personalization by taking into consideration the power of accommodation. We all have the capacity of accommodate, but this is a, the accommodation is the natural ability to focus at different uh, distances. But this, uh, this skill that we have, uh, this, this is something that we are losing over the time. So, all the human beings have this capacity of accommodation, but this is something that uh, we are losing the performance uh, when we are getting older. But we always have this reserve accommodation to use when using ophthalmic lenses. So what we have done is to include, to incorporate this uh, accommodation, this natural ability of the human eye to create more realistic and more precise uh, lenses. 
by incorporating uh, two main elements. One of them is the accumulative object space, and the second one is a physiological compensation of the oblique vibration. So the first one is uh, considering an accommodative object space. So previously, in previous technologies, we were uh, creating this variable object space in progressive lenses. In single vision lenses, it's an infinite and uh, fixed object space. And now with the new digital ray path 2, uh, taking into consideration that the human eye can activate it or relax the accommodation, they can see object uh, by using the same point of the lens at different distance. So what we are creating is a wider range of clear vision in all gaze directions, not only in progressive lenses, but also in, uh, in single vision lenses. So if in previous technologies we were compensating one specific point of the lens to see clearly an object in the spade, in this case a dog, with the new technology we are considering that by stimulating or relaxing the accommodation we can use the same point of the lens to see clearly different objects in the space. So in this case it's not only the dog but also the, the ball and the key. And the second element is an intelligent and more realistic way to compensate lenses. Uh, all the errors that we have uh, come from the uh, spherical error and the cylinder error. And both of them are, in, are impacting in a negative way in our vision. But we have, uh, we realized through the weather trials that the, the human eye have the ability by using accommodation of cancel in certain way the spherical error. So in the new um, compensation technology, we are focused on eliminate as much as possible the cylinder power and provide center, certain freedom to the, to the sphere to compensate in a natural way the, this negative effect, this residual error. So finally, thanks to that, we are providing a better vision, greater comfort, and more precise focus uh, for our patient. Uh, this technology, uh, it's in, in a patent pending. Uh, and lately, I will uh, thank you for you for your attention. And if you want to email me, you can do it uh, at carlos at iot.s, and you can check our website uh, iot.s as well. Brilliant! That was um, bang on time as well, Carlos. Thank you very much. And um, so, thank you everybody for excellent presentations and excellent timekeeping. So, thank you everyone. For, for that. Um, we've got some questions that have already come in. So I'm going to just remind people how you can ask questions. So um, on your screen, I've just put the, uh, uh, you should be able to see on the panel, your, your control panel, you can type in questions or you can uh, raise your hand and we will come to you, turn your microphone on. So um, I'm, at this point, I'm going to ask all our panelists to come back onto their cameras, please. Um, and hopefully we should be able to hear you all. I've just turned microphones on, so let's have a look. Oh, he's got his hat on. <laughs> Has he been drinking? <laughs> I don't blame you. It's it's that time of the evening. So uh, brilliant. I've got some um, questions that have come in. So first one uh, I've got here uh, for Hayley. Um, okay. Question for you: Is the imaging meant to be done on dilated eyes, or does the quality of the picture depend on the pupil size as well? Uh, apologies if she missed it in the presentation. Um, that's from Ehar. I can't pronounce the surname, but from Ehar. Sorry. Uh, so you can use the Kairos on undilated or dilated pupils. Either is absolutely fine. The minimum pupil size is two point five millimeters, and it works really well on undilated. Brilliant. OK, um, another one for Nick. Um, someone else, just could, could you remind me of the name of the device? Uh, that's one person. But another person's also said, can I get hold of it in Ghana? Uh, from, that's from Mavis. So I don't know uh, if your ambitions are to go global, yes, but yeah. The, 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 the device is called New Lids. And uh, can you get it in Ghana? in the UK. Okay. Okay. So maybe we'll um, put you I, in touch with, with Mavis and uh, so she, she could maybe talk to you about how she could get it or you know maybe there's some contacts there, Nick. But um, okay. 
sorry, sorry, Jay Shree, do you have a question? No, that, that's, that's okay. I've got another one for Nick. It says, uh, the question is, how many uses does the brush last or are they just single use? Very good question, which I forgot and wouldn't have had time to mention anyway. Um, so the other benefit of the devices from a, a practitioner point of view is the, the consumable element of the replacement silicon heads. Mm -hmm. They are single use, yes. So one, once um, per, well, you can use, uh, both, do both eyes, but effectively you use the device, you use the head once and then you'll replace it for hygiene purposes, for reasons. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing, probably as an adjunct to that, sorry, Joe Shree, is they come in packs of 30. Um, so a month. my next question. Yes, the, 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 the patient can then buy um, from the practice or via our um, website. Okay, so the way it works is that you show the patient how to do it first, okay, yep. and then they buy it, then they buy the unit itself, and then they buy yep. the packs, like, like your toothbrush, you buy your toothbrush, but then you buy the little head separately. Yes. Got it. Correct. Okay, brilliant. Okay, thank you. Next, um, next one. Okay, then. one for Susie. Um, when are you launching your new product range? Um, I guess, yeah. You're on mute, oh, I think. Mute. You're on mute, Susie. Is that my fault? It might be mine. Sorry, Susie. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, we um, we always launch, we launch new products twice a year. So our latest launch was September, October, um, which is always in time for Silmo, but obviously that didn't happen this year. So mm -hmm. the next update will be January, uh, which we normally get sort of um, probably next month, actually in December. But that's what we do. We, we update it twice a year. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, I've got one for Carlos here. I think we've got an international audience this this evening, uh, Nathan. So, yeah, Carlos, where in Africa do you market your products? Where can where we've got somebody uh, from Ghana asking Emmanuel from Ghana? Mm -hmm. uh, we at IoT we don't have our own brand, so we supply technology to independent labs to, one, to create the the private label. So. Mm -hmm. um, so please send me an email and I will forward uh, this demand to my colleague responsible for, for this region. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. And we will some, some, some contacts. That's great. Good. Thank you. Um, uh, so someone's asked Susie for your contact number. So what we could do is at the end of this, I should mention actually, at the end of this webinar, um, you can request uh, that, that people contact you. So. Um, so for, for, for that particular, if you want anyone to contact you, you can tick a box at the end of the webinar and we'll put each other in touch with each other. But unless you want to give it out now, Susie. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll give it out. It's, um, my mobile is 07795380916. And my email is Suzanne, which is S-U-Z-A-N-N-E dot Oswald, O-S-W-A-L-D, at Gotti. Dot ch if they want to email me instead. Okay. Um, okay. Great. Okay. So uh, I've got um, one here. I don't know. Sorry. Apologies if you if you've read this one out, uh, J3. Did you see the one from Shivam? How yeah, no, bio true? That. How bio true? One day is better than PV two lenses in terms of wearing comfort. Raki, I think that was for you, isn't it? If I'm correct. Yeah, um, so it depends on the patient. It's going to vary. You can't generalize what's better. So you have to look at a variety of things like the ocular health, um, what the patient wants the lenses for. So hydrogels can be a better. So PVT is a silicon hydrogel and BioTrue One Day is a hydrogel lens. So you can have um, certain situations where the BioTrue would be a better option and certain situations where uh, PVT will be better. And also PVT is a reusable lens and BioTrue is a daily lens. So if you've got that patient who wants, um, so for example, say they're going camping or something like that, they may, maybe a daily option is a better option for them. Or if they want it more for everyday use and a more cost effective option, then maybe PVT. And then when we're looking at the material, we also have to consider the ocular health as well um, and base our decision on that. Again, this can't be a sort of general thing. It will vary between different patients. Brilliant. Okay. Good stuff. 
Okay, I've got one for Haley myself actually, um, which is mm -hmm. what what is an ophthalmic practitioner? Op ophthalmic uh, uh, practitioner, yes, because we were talking about this before, and I wanted to just explain what what that is. Um, so basically, it's like an ophthalmic photographer, but you do a lot more diagnostics and more interpretation. So, I mean, I worked within the NHS, um, and I did everything from visual fields right up to fluorescent angiography, um, ICG um corneal topography uh biometries so it's a really varied role working within uh ophthalmic diagnostics okay and how do you get qualified for that what, what, what do you, uh, you need to go through the academy of healthcare science so they are the voluntary registration body um, and you can apply for a certificate of competence uh whether you've got qualifications or you can be grandparented in if you've got mm -hmm. enough experience and you can prove you can meet the quality standards yeah so it's a good way of proving that you meet those standards and that you are work into a certain standard within your role. Useful, useful at the moment, isn't it? With lots of people changing roles and things, so that's great. Yeah. Thanks very much for that, cheers. Next question, Nathan. Um, so, so Sharon has, has more, of a, more of a point here, I guess. Uh, Oculus scrub, twice daily, usually with fingers, twice daily, just as good and far more eco. So Nick, what would, you, what would your uh, comments be to that? Oh, oh, can't hear you. I switched myself up. I wouldn't argue on the ecological grounds. Absolutely. Um, the uh, whether a patient, if a patient is compliant with, with we, we sell um, a range of hygiene products, and if the patient's compliant with the advice of the practitioner and uses them properly, um, one of the things I know some practitioners notice is is almost overzealous use of very um, of woven fabrics can actually cause um, eyelids to become quite tender and sore um, um, and this device ensures that you're getting a, a more regulated clean um, but yeah I mean it's it's another solution we I know some practitioners that have already had patients popping up in their practice who have bought these from the US off the US uh, manufacturers website and they swear by them so um, you know it's it's the same as a toothbrush i use a regular toothbrush my business partner uses an electric toothbrush every day and prefer i prefer mine she prefers hers so you know it's horses for courses there's no right way or wrong way this is an alternative way of encouraging those patients that would prefer this kind of technology to um to use it mm -hmm. Yeah, fair enough and i think the other thing is to think about a portfolio of products like you say because you've got different people on different you know, regimes and, and require different different types of help, really. So that's that's the important thing possibly to think about as well, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, right. There's a quick question for Hayley. Uh, how does the Claris cope with lens op 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 opacities? Opacities. Oh, lens opacities. 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 Oh, yeah, Sorry. really well, actually. Because of the, uh, the broad line imaging, the way it takes the images, sequential illumination, and you get such a, a fantastic picture, um, it is really fantastic, but it deals with it really well. Brilliant. OK, um, so we've got a couple of minutes left for any more questions. because We're over an hour, but um, if anyone else has got any at this point, um, we've had quite a few come in. So um, but did any of you guys have questions for each other while, while we've got everyone here? Yes. Let's see if we've got anybody for anybody else. Anything? Any questions for each other? Maybe not. They're all they're all stunned. They're all stunned and drained, bless them now. They're all like, right, cup of tea now, ready to go. Yeah. Well, it was such great presentation. Well, I was gonna make a comment. I was um for 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 Raki, um just I don't know if you know, but I launched Pure Vision back in the day. Oh dear. I didn't know that. Nineteen ninety nine. Wow. <laughs> I did, I did yeah, when I'm I listened lot, to your a lot older than I look. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I listened I to the introduction, they did mention that you worked for for Bausch and Lomb for for a while. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten years, man and boy. Ten years. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Brilliant. So Any I think um, they're, they're not really. No, I think I think uh, everyone's a bit shy this evening, so they've decided they wanted to type them in. Um, so apologies, we didn't get to speak to anyone, but hopefully next time but so thank you very much i think everyone's did amazing presentations this evening so well yeah, done everyone okay.
Um, can I add one more thing? Um, so okay. our handout will be emailed about the contact lens details and the parameter range to everyone as well. With yes, the contact we will details. do that. Thank we'll you. do that. And also Carlos has um, we've got a handout as well. So we'll make sure that that goes out as well, uh, Carlos. So okay. thank you very much. And if anyone else wants a presentation, um, just let us know and we can send those through as well. So um, just email us and let us know. So brilliant. Thank you very much, everyone, and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Hopefully we'll see you all Thank in you. May at uh, Huntington Optical, mm -hmm. if not before. Thank brilliant. you. Bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.